Hello, my husband. Hi. What? We didn't even get to that yet. Would you just relax for just a second? Okay. I take C blue. Okay. <laughs> so today we have a science experiment for everybody. What is it? I'm about to tell you right now. Oh, Try yay. to stay focused for a minute. Yay. <laughs> Uh, we've been having some trouble at my house. I don't know about you guys, but we've been having some trouble at my house making good choices. Yeah. For some reason, we're struggling with making good choices. And by good choices, I mean not hitting our sister. Yes. Not fighting, learning to get along, being kind, right? Come here. And yes, we've and been having some trouble making good choices. So today we're going to learn a little bit about making well, and we have waters in these jars yes, we're going to learn about making better choices we here. are so this represents your life okay and we want a recipe for a good life i have here the primary colors and so with these colors we can make nearly any color so when you think about colors and you think about your life what kind of a life do you want to have do you want a good life do you want a happy life a do you want life. you want a happy life so what color in your brain says um, happiness he says what color is happiness what about you um, while she's thinking pink pink is happiness pink to you is happiness like if anybody that's watching this video have seen has seen the movie trolls and you know queen poppy the bright and enthusiastic troll until one point where she gets sad Okay, so pink, right? Try to stay focused and again. I think about sea blue, like Grant. He has blue on him. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, if you're going to make pink, we got to make it out of red. So that means that we only need like red one, and blue. one drop. Right. right? So drop, and you don't have to squeeze it. It'll fall out. Yep. All right, and you said Blue. what color? Blue. Blue. Again, same thing. You only need one drop, and it'll come out by itself, <gasps> okay? All right. That looks more you know what we need? Something to stir it with. Here, you want to use that? There we go. Perfect. Pink. You want to make a darker pink? Oh, very happy one. Here, stir that. There we go. Whoa. Perfect. It looks like the sea. I need more. It is. No, no, no. That's all we need. That's all we need. We're good. Okay, now check it out. So you, this, these colors represent happiness to you guys, right? That's the kind of life we like, we like to have, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay, so listen, can you listen to me for a sec? Yeah. All right, so making good choices means that we make good choices all the time, right? That's what we're looking to do. And 1 Corinthians 10 and 31, it says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. That's what the word says. That's what the Bible says. And so, shh. What would happen if these are the colors of happiness for you? What would happen if, where's the red? Can I have it? What would happen if we make a bad choice? For, for instance, we've made a bad choice. We've changed the color of your happy life. Oh, my happy life. Yeah, we changed the color of your happy life. You both made bad choices this week. Now. Oh, but it looks, it's a good I color know. though. So we made bad choices. We have to fix this. How do we fix it? How do we make better? How do we make better choices? By dumping out this water and pouring new color in it. But is that what you think? I think we can add something to the water that would help us. Like this, yellow. No, 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 no. No more color. We can add the Lord back into the situation when we're feeling hurt or upset. We should pray right we should ask the lord to forgive us right mm -hmm. that's I a better choice be right like so what would happen if we add this that take your markers out for a sec take your markers out we're going to add this in and see if adding jesus into our lives changes it <gasps> it made purple it's still gonna be blue huh we might have needed a little bit less water in here Okay, stir it up. Would you look at don't that? Don't put your hands in it now, though, okay? Would yeah, you look uh, gentle, at that? gentle, because you don't want to put your hands in there. Hmm? We might need to dump some of this out. Having that purple bowl or that bowl right there. <clears throat> Wait, so we're dumping out Jesus or putting him in? No, we're dumping out some of the water so that we can put more Jesus into it. But now I'm confused. Hmm, that's a sermon right there. I'm set. Hey, come on, Jesus. All right, we're going to dump some of that out. Whoa. 
in mine. There, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with oil. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right. It's way more clear, isn't well, it? Because we've added the Lord back into the situation. No, in? you should not put that in there. Now, but listen, though. Listen. Making good choices and adding Jesus back into the equation will really change our home life so we can all have a better time, right? Doesn't that sound like a good idea? Does it, does it sound like a good idea, Aria? Don't touch that water. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, gosh, I forgot to tell you not to touch the water. Yeah, it's bleach, guys. <laughs> it's bleach. It'll be at your clothes. Stop. Just one second. Okay, we're going to go ahead and log off. Making good choices. Right? As you can see, we went a little bit off the rails there, but uh, I just want you to know if you need to make some great choices, okay? Good choices make great choices, okay? All right. I love you, my lighthouse lammies. Okay, bye.